the Mavs actively pursuing Zach Levine. In a few weeks, Chicago Bulls guard Zach Levine will officially become an unrestricted free agent for the first time in his career. And of course, there have been rumors that the all-star guard is expected to leave the Bulls in the summer. However, with the rumors gaining traction, Levine has now been linked to several teams from the Los Angeles Lakers to Atlanta Hawks to San Antonio Spurs and a few other teams. A new franchise that is now said to be joining the race to sign Zach Levine is the Dallas Mavericks franchise, who are actively looking to bolster their roster after an impressive run in the playoffs this season. Do you think Zach Levine should leave the Chicago Bulls to join Luka Doncic in Texas? Do you think the Mavericks can land the shooting guard? Stay with us to find out. The Dallas Mavericks had an impressive season, clinching the fourth spot in the Western Conference with a 52-30 record and also made the playoffs for the third consecutive year. After defeating the Utah Jazz, they however faced the best team in the Western Conference, the Phoenix Suns, who they defeated in a hard-won series. Subsequently, they made it to the NBA Western Conference Finals for the first time since they won the NBA championship in 2011. But their hopes for making it to the finals for the third time in the franchise history were cut short after the Golden State Warriors defeated them in a five-game series. However, following their exit from the 2022 postseason, they've headed into the offseason with the aim of strengthening their squad, which also means getting Luka Doncic more help, so it is right to see them linked to a star like Zach Levine. In the 2021-22 regular season, Luka Doncic shouldered a lot of responsibility leading the team in points 28.4, assists 8.7, steals 1.2, and rebounds per game 9.1. Also in the playoffs, the Slovenian point guard led the team in points 31.7, assists 6.4, steals 1.8, blocks 0.6, and rebounds per game 9.8. His impressive performance in the playoffs where he averaged 32.6 points, 9.9 .9 rebounds, 2.1 steals, and 7 assists in the 7-game series is why the Mavericks were able to complete a comeback win over the Suns. Also in the Western Conference Finals against the Golden State Warriors, he averaged 32 points, 6 assists, and 9.2 rebounds in the 5-game series, but unfortunately that wasn't enough to power the Mavs to the NBA Finals. In fact, in the second and third games of the series against the Warriors, Luka had back-to-back 40-point -back games, but his team ended up losing both games. While the likes of Jalen Brunson, Spencer Dinwiddie, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Reggie Bullock provided extra firepower and offense, they were not even close to Luka Doncic's stats. So it became more obvious that the team needs another prolific scorer, and their dependence on Luka was what failed them against the Warriors. After their exit from the playoffs, the Mavs management is presently looking to add another superstar to form a powerful duo with Luka Doncic. However, should they get another star to partner with Luka Doncic, it won't be the first time they've done that, as they tried to add Kristaps Porzingis to partner with Luka in 2019. Porzingis was acquired in a blockbuster trade that saw the Mavs lose DeAndre Jordan, Wesley Matthews, Dennis Smith Jr., an unprotected 2021 first-round draft pick, and an additional top-10 protected 2023 first-round draft pick. The deal was said to be a strategic attempt to build around Luka Doncic, therefore Porzingis was supposed to be the second star in the already one-star team. But following a series of injuries that saw him play in 100 games out of a possible 147 games in his first two seasons with the Mavericks, the Mavs have now traded him. Also, when he wasn't injured, he cannot compliment Luka on the court. In his performance in the 2021 playoffs against the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round, he averaged 13.1 points, 1.3 assists, and 5.4 rebounds per game, and many believe this game made the Mavericks organization decide to do away with him during the 2021-22 midseason. He was sent to the Washington Wizards in a trade that brought Spencer Dinwiddie and Davis Bertans to Dallas. And since the experiment to form the powerful duo with Kristaps Porzingis failed, the Mavericks organization are now actively looking for another star to help the team when Luka Doncic struggles. Mavs head coach Jason Kidd has also echoed the sentiment for a new star on the team after Porzingis was traded to the Wizards. You always want talent to win championships. As we go through this journey, we'll see if we could come across a number two guy, Kidd said. However, after the trade, the Mavs had a better record without Porzingis, but while the Mavs might have proven that they could beat the best team in the Western Conference with a lone star, their loss against the Warriors brought them back to earth and showed that Luka can't do it all alone. Luka Doncic has the most minutes per game in the regular season and was only third behind Bullock and Finney Smith, who ranked first and second in the league in minutes this postseason. 
So, with fatigue or injury sure to set in any time on Luka, the Mavericks are going to be exposed if they don't find another star that, that could help in Luka's absence and a star that can provide him with space offensively. However, the Maverick franchise pursuing Zach Levine shouldn't come as a surprise given that their owner, Mark Cuban, has never hidden his intention to add another star to the roster. An example was after their title-winning season in 2011 when instead of keeping their aging roster, he decided to let some go to create a salary cap space that would allow some big stars to join the Mavericks franchise. Cuban even had high hopes of pairing Giannis Antetokounmpo with Luka Doncic in the 2021 NBA free agency before the Milwaukee Bucks star signed a contract extension. Also, Cuban's desire to land another star might be the reason he made Nico Harrison the Dallas Mavericks general manager. Harrison was a former Nike executive and had a strong relationship with some big players and agents in the NBA. Nevertheless, being linked to a player like Zach Levine is good news for Luka Doncic. The 27-year-old shooting guard who joined the Chicago Bulls in 2017 has spent five seasons with the Bulls and is now eligible to sign a maximum contract that begins with a salary of 30% of the league's cap worth around $200 million. In his time with the Bulls, Levine has made the NBA All-Star team twice and has won the NBA Slam Dunk Contest twice. He averaged 24.4 points, 4.4 assists, and 4.7 rebounds in 272 games. The guard is an elite shot creator and would be a perfect partner to Luka Doncic, and unlike Luka Doncic's former partner over the years, he is an all-star. This 2021-22 season, Zach Levine was one of NBA's most efficient high-volume scorers, averaging 24.4 points, 4.5 assists, and 4.6 rebounds in the 67 games played while shooting 47.6% from the field, 38.9% from beyond the arc, and 85.3% from the free throw line. He also led the Bulls to the playoffs for the first time in five years, where he averaged 19.3 points, 6 assists, and 5.3 rebounds in the four games he played. When asked if he wished to extend his stay with the Bulls, Levine said that he's going to stay open-minded and look at everything before him. I've been here for the last five years and I've really enjoyed my time. I'm going into everything open-minded, but understand that my time here has been great. We'll see what the future holds, Levine said. He further added that free agency is a big decision for him and his family, and as such, he wants to take his time despite the number of teams that are vying to sign him. However, the Mags organization might be facing a financial uphill if they are to land another star to partner with Luka Doncic. This is given that they wasted the flexibility of signing some NBA stars on free agency while having Luka on a rookie contract, and with Luka Doncic's Supermax contract extensions in the 2022-23 season, they will need a sign and trade to land a star like Levine. Also, with Dorian Finney-Smith agreeing to a four-year $52 million extension and the likes of Spencer Dinwiddie on a $20.1 million salary, Tim Hardaway Jr. on a $19.6 million salary, Davis Burton's on a $16 million salary, and a bunch of other role players on significant salaries, they would need to let go of a lot of role players to make room for Levine if they aim to stay within the tax line. Also, they're looking to resign Jalen Brunson on a $9.2 million contract. Brunson was impressive in the 2022 playoffs, averaging 21.6 points, 3.7 assists, and 4.6 rebounds in the 18 games he played. He was instrumental in their first round win against the Utah Jazz in the absence of Luka Doncic, leading the Mavs to a Game 2 and Game 3 win with his 41 and 31 point performances. The point guard provided offensive support for Luka and general manager Nico Harrison and now expressed his desire to retain the point guard. We want to re-sign him. He knows it. We want him back. He'll be a big part of our future, Harrison said. Mark Cuban also thinks the Dallas Mavericks can retain his service. We can pay him more than anybody, and I think he wants to stay, and that's more important, Mark Cuban said. So it leaves little to wonder how the Dallas Mavericks front offices hopes to sign Zach Levine. However, if the Mavs desperately want to land Levine, they can facilitate a trade without going beyond the tax line. If they can re-sign Brunson and have Levine re-sign with the Bulls, then should Levine demand a trade while being under contract with the Bulls, they would be able to match salaries easily and it would be a normal trade instead of a sign-in trade. But going through this process might seem like too much trouble for Levine, who has been largely underpaid for the last few years. He believes he is a top guy in the NBA who should be paid well for his skills and contributions. Do you think the Mavericks could land Zach Levine? And do you think he is the best option to partner with Luka Doncic? Let us know what you think in the comments section. Enjoyed this video? Now hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any exciting NBA scoop. Thanks for watching.